So for more than two decades, NASA sent robots have been roving the surface of Mars to gather more information about the red planet. And among them, this one called Perseverance, which just beamed this selfie back, that's a selfie, with a rock that may contain clues of fossilized life on Mars. And now scientists at Stanford are working on their own robot, one reassembling a spider and resembling a spider that could explore the red planet's cave someday. Brian Hackney gives us a look. They're much finer and they should be ideal for chem analysis. If we ever do make it to Mars, it probably won't look like this. It'll probably look more like this an underground, custom-made by Mars cave. Yeah, why not build it underground, where, where the temperature is more controlled, where there's some protection? Professor Mark Kutkowski runs Stanford's biomimetics lab. We're in mechanical engineering, and here we go. We have Abigail working on a robotic tadpole. Here, students develop tiny robots. We have a couple of students over there working on uh, whiskers in the water for uh, underwater robots. We have Dan, who's working on ReachBot. ReachBot, a little robot about the size of a volleyball that may someday climb into and check out Martian caves for possible human habitation. But if you want to go inside a cave, the first thing is how do you even just get around? The objective is to have something that can go into spaces that almost nothing else can do. How about a small robot, but with really long arms, 30 feet long, so that it can just reach out and grab and like a, like a giant spider, essentially work its way around the inside of the cave. That's the challenge. First, the robot has to get a grip on itself. What these have are arrays of very sharp spines. The spines are made of fish hooks or suture needles. And so this gripper goes in, it finds a rock, it, it grabs on, it tightens, and take a fairly high load. Then it extends up to 30 feet. But using space-hardened booms are way too expensive and complicated. This is not complicated. And I can extend it pretty far. It's the first step to reduce what would be the enormous cost of human-built habitation on Mars by having ReachBot check out the home before we move in. So it's a mixture of design, it's a mixture of control. The objective is to have something that can go into spaces that almost nothing else can do. We have a mission update, storm warning. And given the fictional ferocity of Martian storms, Maybe it's good we'll be deep underground. 